for this activity, we are going to look at how to set up a pressure sensor as an analog sensor. The first thing we'll need to do is identify which event handler we'll be using for the program. Since we want this sensor to continuously be read, we're going to go to our basic drawer and we're going to select a for every event handler. This means that our program will continuously run until we decide to turn the program off. The next thing we'll want to do is set our variable. So we're going to go to our variable drawer and we'll need to make a new variable and we can identify that as pressure sensor. Now once we make this variable, we now have a variable that is named, but it really has no setting applied to it at this point. So we're going to go ahead and take that set pressure sensor to zero, and we are going to link that to one of our pins. Since we're using the pressure sensor as an analog sensor, we'll need to go down to our advanced drawer, identify the pins, and since we'll be reading the data on that pin, we will select analog read pin zero. We'll replace the zero with our analog read pin. This variable now has a value of anything that is connected to our analog pin zero. From here, we can go ahead and set up our if else statement. In this case, we're gonna to go to our logic and find the if else. Here we have an if true, then something will happen. If that is not true, then whatever is in our else statement will occur. For this, we want to set up our pressure sensor to be, if it is less than 500, we want to see a horizontal line appear. So we're going to go to our logic, and we'll look for a comparison block that shows greater or less than. Once we drop that into the true statement, we now have zero is less than zero. We're going to replace the first zero with our pressure sensor variable. And since that is linked to pin zero, it will read whatever value is applied to that pin. We'll replace the second zero with the value of 500. Now, if our pressure sensor is less than 500, we want to be able to see a horizontal line. So we can go ahead and grab our show LEDs and create a horizontal line. So now if that pressure sensor is below 500, you can see in the emulator that we get that horizontal line. If that becomes anything greater than 500, in that else statement, we should see a show icon, and that can be changed to a smiley face. Now, testing this on the emulator, you can see right now we have a horizontal line because pin zero is equivalent to the value of zero. If we change that to anything greater than 500, we now get our smiley face.